Welcome to the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 4, Work and Energy. The section is 4.F, Energy Transfer. This scenario, three identical blocks are released simultaneously from a high H. Block A is dropped from rest. Block B slides on an incline. You can ignore the friction. And so block C is launched horizontally with a speed of V0. There are two students who make argumentations. Dominic states that they will have the same speed before hitting the ground. Remember that we saw this demonstration in class, and it does not matter how the blocks were dropped, they all land at the same time. The speed will be the same because of the conservation of energy. All the blocks have the same gravitational potential energy to start with. This is the total energy and converts into kinetic energy. Carlos states, I think you're mixing up the speed and time. They won't have the same speed at the end because block C has an initial velocity. They will all land at the same time though. Part A asks you to see which one's Dominic's correct. C is Carlos, which is correct. Three, three and four goes over what they did wrong. To give, to give you some notes, I would like to show you this from your book. So Galileo um, did an experiment and he saw that if an object projects horizontally, it will reach the same time as an object dropped vertically. You should see the image here. If you look, this is because the vertical motions are both in the same case. Notice vertically, they all have the same vertical component part. The vertical position of each bot is seen to be the same in each instance. That's the first piece, piece of notes. The second piece of notes is this problem. You could read it to yourself, but the first question says, which rider, Paul or Carolina, would travel travel? faster at the bottom. It says since they descend the same vertical height, they will reach with the same speed due to the conservation of energy. B, uh, which rider will make the bottom first? Here, she will say that, um, where is it? Um, Paulina will reach, Kalina will convert her potential energy to con to kinetic energy earlier. She is going to travel faster than Paul because the distance is the same. Kalina will reach the bottom first. All right, use those two ideas. Now you can answer this. Okay, now I'm going to go over the answer. The concert, these are the things that Dominique got cor incorrect. I decided to do it on a bullet point. First thing, the conservation of energy will be applied to this problem if you consider the system to be the earth and the block where the system is close to the external. Oh, this is her reasons that are correct. She has one more reason that is correct. In the earth block system, in all cases, they all have the same gravitational potential energy because they all start at the same height, exactly like right here. They all descend the same vertical height. They will finish at the same speed. Which... That's it. That's all she got correctly. Which aspect of Carlos's reasoning is correct? They won't have the same speed at the end because they have different initial mechanical energy. Block C has an initial velocity. Therefore, it has kinetic energy at the start. Therefore, the, block, the speed of block C would be greater at the end compared to the other. Block A and block B at the start had only gravitational potential. Block C had gravitational and kinetic energy at the start. So his total mechanical energy was higher. All right. Which parts of Dominic reason is incorrect? I'm going to state the reason why. There's two things she got incorrect. First, it's incorrect that the final speed will be the same. That's my claim. My warrant. Block C has a higher total kinetic energy since the other block. Block C has a has a higher total mechanical energy than the other blocks because it had kinetic energy at the start from the initial velocity. Now, here's my evidence. Since they all have the same potential energy due to falling from the same height, but block C has a higher total mechanical energy the speed at the end for block C is going to be greater than the two. There's one more. It's incorrect that they all have the same time. Block A and block C can be considered as a free fall object. They all fall at the same rate because 
they accelerate equal to g due to the influence of the force of gravity. We saw the experiment here. Therefore, block A and C will have the same time. However, block B is sliding down a ramp where the distance is no longer due, is where the distance is longer because it's the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Do you see this? That's the hypotenuse. That's the length of the ramp. And the free fall height is the opposite side. I just showed the opposite side there. Because block C has to travel a longer distance than the other two, the time it reaches the bottom will be longer. Which part of Carlos's reasoning is incorrect? I state that it's incorrect that block that the block will, will land at the same time. The time it takes to reach the bottom depends on the acceleration of the block. Block A and block C are are in free fall with no additional ver vertical velocity. Therefore, they will reach the bottom at the same time. Again, right here, will reach the ground at the same time. Block B will accelerate down with a smaller factor of gravity due to only having one component accelerating it down the ramp. In addition, block B will travel a longer distance. C3 right here, this is the explanation, okay? Because it has only a component of gravity accelerating it down and it has to travel a longer distance, therefore it will land last. If you're wondering what the component is part I'm referring to, remember, I can draw it for you here. Okay, uh, we saw that force gravity, let's say the block is right here, right? So force gravity is down, mg, f normal, okay? What is bringing it down is going to be mg mg this is going to be cosine theta. Yep, it's mg cosine theta that is bringing it down. Okay. And it is the sine part that is keeping it. The mg cosine theta is the component part I'm referring to. Okay, I apologize. This was actually a mistake. That's why I was unsure about the answer. I had to double check. It's not mg cosine theta. It's mg sine theta. I got the angles part wrong. It's mg sine theta that is going down. Okay. All right. Good. The next part. You can read it. The but this block is going to be sliding down. They would like us to graph the or label the um, the forces on it when it's up here. The only thing putting it down is FG. Okay, now it slides down. FG still points. FG should still point down. And perpendicular to the surface is force normal. They asked about this. Okay. Angela suggests that the equation could be incorrect. Does the equation make sense? Yes or no? Then explain your reason why. Work normal equals to pi and half r m g cosine theta. Want you to understand what work is. Work, the net work on an object. To find that, you could find the work done by each force and adding it up. Or you could find the net force, f net, then use the work equation. W net is equal to f net d cosine theta. Give that a try. The equation does not make sense because the work only becomes zero when theta equals to zero. That is only when it slides through 90 degrees or pi and a half in radians. When at half way, the 90 degree, um, it's no longer 90 degrees. It's going to be 45 degrees 
or if you want to think about it in radians as pi over fourth. The work isn't going to be zero because the work normal is going to be pi and a half or mg cosine of 45. This is not zero. That's the problem. Okay, so this equation is incorrect. That's incorrect because um, cosine of theta equals to zero only at 90 degrees. Okay, the next part. Dominic says that work normal is equal to zero regardless of the physical situation. Explain why that is. To give you that answer, I would like you to give you. I would like to give you this these this piece of note that is in the book. Okay, this is a the moon revolving around the Earth. The question says that the moon revolves around the Earth in a nearly circular orbit. Does the gravitational force that it exerts on Earth does it do positive work, negative work, or no work? The answer is the the moon's displacement at any moment is tangential to the circle. That means this is the this in the equation. This is distance. Is always this way. In the direct, uh, the moon's displacement at any moment is tangent to the circle in the direction of its velocity, perpendicular to the radius and perpendicular to the force of gravity. You see this distance. It is perpendicular right here, ninety degrees to this force. If you plug it in right here, cosine 90 degrees is equal to zero. Okay, therefore, no work needs to be done against the force of gravity because it does no work. That's the same explanation that you should use here. Give that a try. All right, the answer is, the answer is very simple. Work done by the normal force will always be zero because the normal force is perpendicular to the displacement vector that the box slides upon, exactly like the moon. Okay, it's always perpendicular. That's why it's always going to be zero. Okay, so there you go. Those are all your notes and solutions for 4F.